All right, everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, we're going to try drawing the female head today. This is the much requested or demanded video that I make. And uh, so now I am going to make it. So let's start out with your standard head here. Um, egg shape. Lower at the bottom, more, more tapered at the bottom, halfway through the eyes. Maybe we we'll we'll get that right here. All right. Okay. So about a third of the way through the nose and about halfway through that about eyes about one distance apart between the eyes depending on the person's head you want to leave an eye distance or a little bit less maybe for their bigger eyes Eyebrows up at an angle and a little tail at the end. It kind of flows into the nose. Cheekbones, jawline. Now this is this is a standard, you know, face. It's it, it, it can have very many many variations on it, but I'm just trying to draw a basic face. Okay, now I'm gonna knock this one back and go in with a little more detail now. Kind of show you what, well actually I'll put a few more lines in here just to kind of help you out. The The eye line kind of goes in with the nose. That's how you can find the nose. The mouth line kind of almost goes, not quite, but almost the, you know, the, up to the, like the pupil of the eye. Something like that. Okay. I'm going to drag these lines across because I'm going to draw this aside too. So I might as well just do it now. Ears, right about where the eyebrow is. Loop it around. And right about where the nose is can end. Okay, A hairline is right about here, about a third of the way up. Or more. Could be all, you know, that could be the head. Okay, now I've got my basics down. I'm going to go in here and draw, like bring that layer way down in opacity. Create a new layer with my little, little cross in a box there. And I'm going to zoom in and get to work on this face. Okay, so the eyes. Eyes are, to, simple, to break it down simply, straight line, curve, like that. Straight line, an angle, curve. Put a little duke here, and I'll just complete this on a curve line below. So we're talking straight line, curve, below. And then this kind of gets smoothed out a little bit. Put a little eyelash over it. Thicken these eyelashes. You don't really draw individual eyelashes usually. Eyelashes kind of tend to disappear as they get closer to this part of the eye. You can make these eyelashes bigger, smaller, whatever. Straight line, 
curve it. Bring a nice curve below. Thicken the eyelash a bit. Okay, nose. Noses can be different types of noses. We're gonna make this one pretty small. You don't wanna make harsh you know, lines on the nose, like, you know, like that. Beautiful girls, everything's soft, easy, light, barely there. The nose is almost, almost disappears when you, okay, eyebrows start here at the edge of the eye, thick band going up on an angle, then add a little tail. Okay, lips. Lips are like, okay, a curved line, two almost straight lines, then another curved line underneath it, a little bit, a little bit bigger, just a little larger, and then just kind of bring, you know, kind of curve it in like that. Make this one nice and curved. Then the bottom line can be, it's not exactly a round like this. It's not exactly a squared off thing. It's a combination of two, so you kind of something like that. Put a little shine on there. You can see how quickly it turns into very, you know, luscious lips. Okay. See, I'm, it's uh, you just want to break these things down to, to the most simplistic, simplistic shapes. And then you kind of just curve them out. Nice cheekbones. Nice jawline. Jawline starts to curve right about where the mouth is. If you're looking at it, of course, straight on. Ears looping around here, kind of some gnarlies in there. Gonna make it up, sort of. <laughs> Ears can be bigger and smaller. They tend to be smaller on a beautiful girl, but they can be larger too. Doesn't matter. Okay, now the eyeballs. It's important when you're doing eyes is to pay attention to the negative space. So if I got an eye, let's just finish this eye up here for a second. And I have an eyeball in it, like sit like this. What you really want to pay attention to, and I'll put this on another layer and give me a color, is this shape and this shape. Memorize these shapes. This is the this is the, the essence of an eye. Now take a look at these shapes and think about them. Know them. Now that's when an eye is, of course, in a relaxed position. You know, when, and when the, someone gets excited, then of course you'll see more. Let's get rid of these guys. Oops, wrong tool. Okay, there's my eye. She's you know, scared of something. It just opens up. Now you can see the, the space around it. You can see a lot more of it. So 
So it's sort of like there's your relaxed position, normal position. And here is, surprise, a giant monster's coming at you. That's the thing. So let's go here. Now let's, I usually draw uh, blue-eyed girls, but let's just make this, show how easy it is to do a, a dark-eyed girl here. Make it shiny. Okay, let's see how that looks. This looks good. But I can see already one eye is too far over. Let's fix that. Thank you, Photoshop. You awesome. I just I went with my select tool. I selected it. Then I have my move tool. Now I use my arrow keys. And doom 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 doom. Perfecto. She looks good. She looks like uh, you know, she looks like Viger, you know. Viger. Where is the carbon unit? Yeah, that V'ger lady in the Star Trek, the first one, the motion picture, she pulled that off. So now, you know you're good looking if you can, if you're bald and you can still look good. Okay, let me just flip this just to see if it looks disastrous or not. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I wouldn't say disastrous, but it's not symmetrical. Okay. This eye just isn't. Well, actually, probably there's this eye that just needs a little bit more. So I've used my select tool, move tool. Now I'm going to push my command T, command button, and that means I can move just a, a section of it like that. Because I think she just needs a little bit more like that. Okay. Deselect. And she looks good. She checks out. She makes the cut. Okay. Um, let's flip this back now. Image, rotation. You can't see this pull down stuff because I'm only showing a window. It doesn't show my whole screen. And, but I'm doing a pull down menu flip canvas horizontally. I'm holding down my shift key and that gives me my new move tool and I can just move things across like that very nicely. Okay, she looks pretty good. I think that's it pretty much. I'm gonna, let me just eliminate these guys just for the heck of it and get them out of here. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll cut them and I'll paste them somewhere else in a different layer. Okay, let's give her some hair. I should really do a whole video on hair. I will do a whole video on hair. Right about here, let's say she starts, let's say her hair flips around, kind of doing something like this maybe. Hair is so, you know, it's just so crazy, you can do anything you want. Obviously it goes all over the place, all different styles of hair. But you know, you kind of want to make it nice and flowy Oh, the neck muscles, you know, that they, and a girl, make sure you don't go out like this. Unless you're drawing a bodybuilder. And not too thin either. You don't want to go like too skinny. You want it to be healthy and normal kind of average person, sort of. Okay. We'll put this behind her ear a little bit. Okay, here doesn't make any much difference. I'll throw in some, maybe I'll make it dark.
So she's got a little shine in the hair. It's you know, flowing around in front of her face. Some wisp of hair. It's kind of nice to kind of throw in a few strands here, like here, just to give it a little bit more realism, maybe. Kind of free flowing hair. Getting the highlights. Okay. Looks uh, nice. Let's see, let's go back to this face a little bit. I'll add a little bit of, uh, maybe a little more eyelid. And maybe just a little, just to show you, like, you know, add a little shine on these lips. Now we're talking more, more realism. Okay. And that's fine. If you wanted to make her, you know, give her blue eyes, then you just kind of go in here with your... Take that out a little bit. Put that people back in there. There you go. It's something to keep in mind when you're doing an eye, like where does the pupil go? It, well, it just touches, in a, in a relaxed position, it touches the top of the eyelash. As soon as it goes down, that means it's starting to look more surprised. So it should touch. And never draw the whole eyeball when you're in a relaxed position. It's always underneath the eyelid. This is sort of like, you, you wanna think about, um, let me create a new layer here that there is an actual eyeball in here. You know, with it, with your eye on it. So that's important to understand that. Okay, let's bring the side view right across here because we've got Okay, where's the, uh, those little, that's, anything on this layer, get rid of that layer. I did hair. Create another eye. Okay. The side view. You know, basically a circle ish. Now you want to find the eyes, the eyebrow, nose length. Oops. And chin. Hang on a second, we're, we're way about, screw that up, hang on a second. And I'll just do this all over. Some of the lines across 
here. And we're going to do the side view now. Okay. Side view is more or less a circle. It's got, you know, the chin on it. It's, you can kind of cut it in half here. Find your ear. Bring that ear right across. Now here's your eyes. Your eyebrow. The nose. Comes out for the lips. And the chin. A little bit, you see a little bit underneath it of the chin, and then your uh, neck. You want to think about a skull. Think about what you think of a skull that's that's inside there. So. Okay. Let me just uh, do it a little bit nicer. So I'll take this, bring it way down, create another layer, and I'm going to move in a little more for the details to give you guys a good breakdown. The side of the eye is pretty simple, really. You know, it's it's an eyelid. It's it's kind of you know it's just like that pretty much with an eyelash just not coming out of it you want to add a little more a little bit of eyelid you can there that's good depending on the person too you know they may have more or less now your eyeball now you think you're you're looking at this from the side, so you know think of this as a, from the side. That would be sh just a short little line like that. It still curves around, gives that tail. Now you want the brow, simple line like that. Nose swoops down. You know this is where the um, where's my uh, yes here it is the. This model's great. Get these on uh, e um, on Amazon, like thirty bucks or something like that. That's good for getting the, the angles correct when you're trying to draw it. So super cool, and especially like we'll do some really you know different angles, and that's when you really need this thing. So okay, the nose. Simple lines, very simple. Now there's a kind of, basically it's kind of a line like this down. More or less, depending again on the person to the end. But again, this is an average person. I'm still drawing that little lip up there and then come almost straight down and then a rounded part down here. So I'm sort of I'm trying to duplicate what I did here with this nice little curve, but from the side. Nice graceful curve up. You don't want to like you know do that necessarily. Again, always with the female faces and stuff females you, you, you know the softer the better kind of don't do anything harsh you know you, you add lines like this and now you know she's just got old you know so really really you got to be careful with with females with guys you can add all that gnarly stuff the craggy stuff it's actually easier to draw dudes because it's a little more of a, a road map. You know, like it's, you can find your way from one, one map, your one way across the face. 
this you got to kind of memorize the negative space as well as the positive space. Okay, so there she is, I think. Beeger. Okay. Maybe I'll put some hair on her too. Just so you know, she's not uncomfortable with their uh, outfit or whatever. look I should say here any way you want da, da, da. anything I don't think I'm actually that great with hair frankly I gotta I have to kind of work at it to get it right Okay. All right, I think her eyes, her eye could be a little larger, frankly. Just, you know, it's just, I'm just playing around now, but. Which layer am I on here? Well, I'm definitely okay. I gotta go find that layer. What layer am I on? There it is. You can kind of see how this how this whole thing works. You know, when when you. Um, When you move an eye, I'll use my arrow keys. See, she can have different looks. Her face can be, you know, changes her. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe, maybe her mouth is kind of too, not interesting enough to or something. Make it a little bit. I mean, I gotta zoom in on there to get this right. Zooming in. Let's see. Okay, yeah, she looks a little bit nicer now. Doesn't look so mad. Looked a little bit mad before. When you're drawing comic books for dudes, not a good idea to make the girl mad looking. Okay, there, that's pretty good. Standard uh, face, beautiful face. Whoops, ah, okay. All right, let's try now a um, three quarters view. So let me turn these other guys off. Once you master the front view, it's time to go for the uh, three-quarter view. Okay. So 
you're combining both the ideas that you know the roundness and sort of the egg shape. I like to put the cross over here in the middle. Kind of helps me get my target. Then I do, I do this with the male eyes too, kind of just put in the circles, put in the, the eyeballs. I want to get your structure kind of down. This will be an underlay, so I want the structure to be down. Looks mad right now, but you'll see in a second when I just put the eyelashes over it. Suddenly, you see, it's okay. Relax. You can relax. She's not mad at you. Bridge your nose comes out here. Drawing those same simple mouth. Cheek comes out here. Jawline up, and that's where you find your ear. Neck muscle. Think of these neck muscles always coming out right just behind the ear. Okay, let's make that low opacity. Now, if you're drawing, you know, when I draw, I, I do kind of draw the construction lines first like this, and then I erase them. Either use a knead eraser, go over. I'm talking about when I draw with paper, you know. I, I use the same process. I'm using it on the, you know, drawing on the computer here. It's actually easier, frankly, on, on, to draw it on the uh, piece of paper, frankly. The good news is with, with the, uh, the advantage of the Photoshop is, uh, is you can... Um, you can move things around and you get to flip your drawing so easily and work on it. That Those are the two huge advantages of Photoshop, working on a computer. But no simple. Be careful when you're making eyeballs. Just you know, don't don't put this like super strong eye line along it. You want to keep it soft and light. Keep it thin. You know, can actually you know let let the colors kind of uh, take over sometimes and do the th do their thing. I put a pretty heavy eye eyelid on this one on this side. Kind of got to duplicate that on this side. Okay, loop this down to round like this, and you can kind of find your the mouth that that first line. That's good. cheek out from the gradually out and kind of swing it around almost as if it goes down like think of a think of the skull that's underneath it it's a 
gel is a little large, so I'm going to kind of bring it up a little bit. You see all these different lines I'm making. I'm making mistakes, and then I'm fixing them. It's, you're constantly you know, adjusting as you go. Drawing a you know a beautiful girl, I don't draw all these muscles in here. I just did that for indication to know where I'm at. Okay, let's see what she looks like. I'm gonna flip it and take a look and see how bad I did. You know what? That ain't bad. It's somewhat okay. Usually when I flip it, when I do this kind of view, it's like, oh gosh, it's way off. But it really isn't bad at all. It's pretty good. Yeah, flipping your drawing, it's, you don't want to do it because you, you almost dread it because like, you know, what you're going to see it's going to look really bad, <laughs> but you got to do it. That's the only way, only way you get better is to face the mistakes and fix them. Okay, I think he's just fine. Actually, I shouldn't have to worry about this too much. Maybe the chin's a bit big. Eh, don't worry about it now. All right, let's try just, I'm just gonna flip, um, flip it back. And uh, maybe I'll put some uh, lines across. To draw, I'm gonna draw the three quarter view from the others from the back. It's not a big deal, but I don't even have to do it really, but I might as well show you how it's done. Think of that skull, rounded skull. Oh, where's the eye coming in here? Right here, right? Just want to bring that cheekbone in there. Come about here, I guess, you know, for the ear, working around that. And you'll see maybe just a bit of the nose from this. You know, it depends on which, how, where you want that three quarter view to be. This is a difficult view to draw, really. A lot of people screw it up. Easy to make a mistake on it. That's where that little you know, uh, model comes in real handy. I mean, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> oh my gosh, you gotta watch what you say. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Eyebrow. This is where that tail ends on the eye. You know, the on the eyebrow kind of comes around. All right, cheekbone. It's a very difficult angle to get right. 
Well, you need this. You need this view often in, in stories and stuff because you, you know the person. You want the person to be looking at someone, and that sort of thing. So sometimes it's just you know that's why you gotta have the you know the model around to get all those difficult angles. Okay. Where's those lines I put in there? I want to get rid of them. I can't. Oh, there they are. Okay. All right, there. That's not completely terrible or anything. So. Very difficult view to draw. But I think I finally got it here. Okay, that looks okay. Alright, let's put some hair on this kid. Let's see what we got. Right. I'm not going to do anything too complicated. Don't want this thing to be too long. So I'll just throw in something. Okay, but I do not really care for the, something weird about that. Did I do that with the uh, hair or no? Okay. Okay. All right, that's not a perfect thing, but uh, you know, you get the idea. I just feel like it's something's not as good as it could be. That's all. But I would work this out if I was doing a drawing. I was, you know, getting this thing right. I'd study the the, the models. I might find some reference until I felt like I, I got the thing down. Okay, acceptable for now. Okay, let's try now. Um, Three quarters view. Now we're getting into the really the real sophisticated stuff. Three quarters view. Looking down and up. Okay, let's do one looking down. Now I I do the target method. You know the the X. Find. 
where I want to be. Then I, I go for the eye, I put the eyes in there. My eyebrow in. As I put, watch the magic as you but just put the eyelashes and follow the eyeball, the line of the eyeball, really. Flip it around here. Got that ear, find it, find the ear. The ear will now because it's going around. You remember the the front view is you would see it straight across from the eyebrow, but because it's going around, yeah, it gets up higher. Okay, I'm gonna bring the opacity of that down. Big time. Create a new layer. And let's get in here and get some details on this. See, I'm kind of doing that same thing, lift up in the, in the end, even from this view. Okay, cheekbones. You're gonna see more of this area right between here and here from this angle. ear in here. So difficult views, these are difficult, really tough. Sometimes you really, you know, you want to get reference going, that's for sure. And, you know, I've been drawing 37 years and I still, this is, this, these are Tough angles. Still mess them up all the time. looking this way a little bit that we can just for change okay 
I mean, they're kind of small. Hmm. Okay. Got a little bit larger. Okay, I'll turn that off. I mean, no, I'll turn it on to finish the head. Okay, I'm going to flip it and see how I did. I suspect this eye is not quite right, but let's find out. Yeah, it's a little bit... Well, what I can do is I can either bring this eye up a little higher or this one down farther. Probably this one down farther. Not much, though. I mean, you, it's almost fine as is. You would probably say, it's nothing wrong with that, Dan. But look at that. I'll touch it. Oh, my gosh. I'm just move it ever so slightly because I like to get things perfect. Okay. Okay, looks good. She looks nice. She needs hair though, definitely. Okay, let's flip that back. And I'm going to do an upshot, another extremely difficult view. There's my target area. Okay, I'm going to draw in the eyeballs. nose is going to come out. You're looking at the length of the nose here. We're looking at hardly any of it. It's, it's turning facing us mostly. Okay, now watch the eye. This is kind of cool. Now I'm going to go right along the eyeballs. Maybe I'll give a little bit of eyelash there. Tilting this, doing the cheekbones. Now you're gonna see the top of the this this area now here will be very small. Won't see much area between those two. Okay, now this is where the model comes in. I mean. You know, this guy, girl, I mean, you know, getting that, the angle of the chin or that, you know, the, that, you know, it's rounded there, but it gets flattened across and you got to look at that. So I, I would sit there and study that. Get that angle right. You don't you see much less of the of the forehead because you're looking up at the top, and now the the follow that ear around the curve down here. Okay, let's, oh, it's in the same layer, darn it. Let me have to get this cut and paste. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna take that opacity way, way down. 
Create a new layer on top of that. And move in for details. Yeah, when you do that rough, it's it's I often say it's like a target. You you find your you got somewhere to shoot for now. Now that's it's memor it's all memorization of the eye, memorization of, of the uh, of the forms. You have to you know it's like you, you memorize it just like you're studying for an exam, for a test, for for a, you know math test, an English test, anything. You still you're just memorizing what these shapes look like, the distance they are. That, you know, you might want to just almost make that, that nose line disappear. That little top part, two lines coming down. A little, the secondary one, nice smooth curve. Coming out of cheekbones, coming around. Think about the skull. Think about the, the uh, jawline now where that might be. I think I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna put like a just a like she's looking to the side a little bit. back take a look hmm I don't know if that's so good <laughs> okay well let's flip it and see what happens anyways okay yeah I got some problems but uh I work at it It's not terrible, I mean, exactly. It's fixable. But... Let's see. This might be it up here. This might be the problem. The skull is not. It's going back too far. Angle too far there. Okay. 
So, yeah. D difficult, difficult view to draw. Difficult. Okay, I think the eye, another problem might be the eye is just a little too, maybe a little too long. Does that help it a little bit? get there this could take a while you know again reference might be needed I mean I gotta really study that model get these these uh get the view right but uh you can see just how difficult it is even for experienced artists getting these shot these angles just right But it's worth it when you get it right, because then it looks good. Let me switch it back, see if I can get it a little bit. Usually it's kind of funny, but I'm actually kind of a, a righty when it comes to drawing faces. Like how easy for me to draw from this angle, it's weird. Like right-handedness. Okay. See, I think it was the head, the top of the head that was not right. It's throwing me off. It's really not that bad of a face. Okay, let's give this this chick some hair, man. Or both of them, I mean, or the same girl, I suppose. Oops. Okay, yeah, that face is bugging me, man. It did not work out that well. Maybe it's got something to do with the mouth. That's the right layer. Let's go in here. I think it's got something to do with the mouth. See how easy, how difficult this stuff is, you guys? And you can just sit there and noodle things and work on it and you know, take a long time. I might, I might take like, you know, another uh, half a day just trying to get a face right from a difficult angle like this. Keep playing around with it.
until I get it to that point where I like it. Let's see, give her a little, I'm gonna, maybe if I add a little bit of tone on this, it might kind of help her out a little bit. Yeah, that's better. It really is, actually. Anyways, that is it, man. So, yeah, now I'm looking at the other one and go, oh, gosh, that jaw's big. Gee whiz. So yeah, lots of work to be done, lots of things to do, but you can see the process. The front, the front views, very easy. Start with the front views, learn the front views, graduate to these more difficult views after that, and try to master them. Get those, get those models though. Like this, this, this would be a lot shorter if I was sitting there staring at, you know, looking at the model, looking at the structure. It would be a, 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 it's it's like inform you know, crap in crap out. If you don't have the information, if you, if you have nothing coming in, you're just gonna have junk coming out. And you want to have good information coming in. So, that's what the models for. That's what the reference are for. Not the best faces I've ever drawn. Not the worst either, actually. Probably this nose is too good. That's probably one of the issues with this is the whole thing is just this nose is too long. And I could just kind of select it, use my arrow keys, move it in. Deselect that. And you can see the improvement. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. I'm going to have to quit this one because it's getting too long. Let's see. So these, this one was uh, not the best. Let's look at the the first one. That was a good one. Yeah, that looked good. Where is her face though? Okay, yeah, and that's it. So. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a uh, it's a you know bit of a challenge, but a lot of fun. Uh, you got to draw beautiful girls, obviously, if you're drawing comics. So you got to learn the basics. Anyways, if you like this one, please like and share it, and tell everybody about this. Uh, got to get me monetized so I can make a little something from, from these videos. But anyways. We'll see you guys in the next time, the next tutorial. Thanks and bye.